Seven three and seven four word problems. I'm the singing man with the helmet and the stars on the sleeve. Objective to solve word problems involving fractional coefficients. So we're going to do this fractional coefficient thing, but we're also going to have word problems going on here, okay? Here we go. 4, r times d equals d. These rate time distance problems, remember, here's some little tips if you want to write these down, they might help you out. Um, when you have to and from problems, someone goes like up a hill and then comes back down, or goes to Sacramento and comes back, remember, your equation is probably going to come from the fact that they're equal distances. The distance there is the same as the distance back. For north-south or east-west problems, when they're traveling in opposite directions, so one's going east and the other's west, or the one's going north and south, distance 1 plus distance 2, this distance plus this ends up being the total amount traveled. So they'll give you that total distance apart, and you just say you add their individual distances up, and that's where your equation comes, okay? Um, and if you have one of this thing, like one person leaves later, but they're going in the same direction, like one guy leaves at 3, one guy leaves at 5, but they end up catching up, well then, you know, this guy ended up catching up with this guy, meaning they both travel the same distance. They have equal distances again. So to and from, we say this distance equals this distance. If one person leaves later before, we have this distance equals this distance. But if they're traveling in opposite directions, it's this part plus this part equals the whole distance. But remember, when you're filling in rate times distance, the time is always the amount of time traveling or the amount of time moving. If that person rests for a half hour, you need to subtract that from the total time. So there's a little advice for you, okay? I don't know, hopefully that'll help you out a little bit. Here we go. Ooh, rectangle problems. A rectangle is 9 centimeters longer than it is wide. So I'll call it W for wide. 9 centimeters longer than it is wide will be its length. So W is width and 9 plus W is length. All right. The width is 1 seventh of the perimeter. So I know that the width is one-seventh of the perimeter. How do you find the perimeter? You add up all four sides. Well, let's see. W plus 9 plus W plus W plus 9 plus W ends up being 1, 2, 3, 4 W plus 18. So the width, which we are calling here W, is one-seventh of 4 W plus 18. Multiply both sides by 7 to get rid of that denominator. 7w equals 4w plus 18. Subtract 4w. 3w is 18. w is 6. All right, what's the question asking? Find the dimensions. 6 by, what is it? You can do it. 15. Nice. All right, maybe. All right. Oh, here we go. A to and from problem. Erica hiked up a mountain at 3 kilometers and returned at 4. So we know there and back was the same distance. The entire trip took five hours and ten minutes, including a half hour she spent at the top. Oh, she spent a half hour at the top. So she really wasn't traveling for five hours and ten minutes. She was really traveling for four hours and forty minutes. Four hours and forty minutes would be four hours and four sixtieth, which is four and two thirds, which we sometimes write as twelve, thirteen, fourteen thirds hours. Okay, so that's the total time. Okay, let's see. We know the distance there and back um, are the same. So let's see. So we have up a mountain and down. So let's set up our up, down, and we'll do our rate times time as distance and see if we can get an equation. Um, let's see. Rate up was 3. Rate down was 4. We know the total time was 14 thirds, right? Which means, could I say up, she went, took x, and down, she took 14 thirds minus x. Oh, I didn't even ask a question here. I want to know how long, uh, here, it's ready. How long did she travel up? I don't know. So that'll be, that'll be the question. I forgot to write the question down. How long did she travel up? So we're trying to find this. Okay, so I have a time, if she spent this much time at all, and she spent x there, she spent the total minus that here. Now I just multiply across, 3x, and 4 times this is 14, 28, 56 over 3, minus 4x. Um, 4 times that, right? And this equals this is my equation, so I'm done. Alright, the distance up, 3x equals this. Alright, nice! So we're almost done. Here we go. That was pretty cool. Let's go on to another one. I'm not going to solve that equation, but here's the equation. 3x equals 
56 over 3 minus 4x. That would be what you're going to do. All right, next one. Two-thirds of a pile of coins are nickels, one-fourth are dimes, and the rest are quarters. The total value is 475. Find the number of each. What? So let's see. Pile of coins. I'm going to put a pile, or like a pile of coins all stacked up. Two-thirds are nickels. So all of these are nickels. That's about two-thirds. One-quarter are dimes. So that's about a quarter. And the rest are quarters. So I have two-thirds here. One quarter. So what's left for this guy? Well, I need common units, so two thirds. Let's see. Let's put him in twelfths. Um, that's eight twelfths I have for nickels. One quarter is the same thing as three twelfths for dimes. Eight, nine, ten, eleven twelfths. So I've used eleven twelfths. There's only one twelfth left for quarters. Right? And I can call this whole pile the total number of quarters. X be the total number of quarters. I mean, sorry, coins. All right, so let's set up our coin chart. We have nickels, dimes, quarters, right? Here we go. What are our numbers? Well, nickels are eight twelfths of the whole thing. This guy's three twelfths of the whole thing, and this guy's one twelfth of the whole thing. You know that's five, ten, twenty-five. So you multiply across, you get. 40 twelfths x, 30 twelfths x, and 25 twelfths x. This is the total value, right? This plus this plus this equals 475. And there's your equation. Add these all up. You end up getting 40 plus 30 is 70 plus 25 is 95. 40, 30, 70. So you get 95 twelfths x equals 475. Multiply both sides by 12, divide by 95, you end up getting x. All right, cool. Let's do another one. Oh, the numerator. The numerator of a fraction is one more than the denominator. Okay, so we'll call the denominator x, and this guy's x plus 1. This is our fraction. If the numerator and denominator both increase by 2, so this is what, it, okay, so this is our fraction. And this is my if fraction. Whenever they do an if, make a separate if. If the numerator and denominator both increase by 2, so this becomes x plus 2. This becomes x plus 1 plus 2 more, so this is x plus 3. The new fraction will be 1 fourth less than the old. So this guy is a quarter less than this. So this guy minus a quarter will equal this one. Okay, so let's do it. Right? This guy minus a quarter equals this one. Let's do it x over x minus 1, so x plus 1, minus 1 4 equals x plus 2 over x plus 3. So how do I solve this? Well, I'm going to multiply both sides by the LCD. That was a lot. That was 7 4. So what's the LCD here? No. Actually, that was... Oh, yeah, well, it was 7 4. So I'm going to multiply... What is the LCD? x plus 1 times 4 times x plus 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by this. x plus 1 x plus 3 and 4. When I multiply this guy by it, what happens? The x plus 1 is canceled out, right? And I have this times x on the top. So I get... When I multiply this by this guy, the 4's cancel out, right? And I get x plus 1 times x plus 3. And when I multiply this guy by this, the x plus 3's cancel out, and I get x plus 2 times x plus 1 times 4. Okay, you do it all out, solve for x. I'm not going to do the whole thing out. Okay, there it is. Multiplying by the LCD. Here we go, the last one. When you're doing wages problem, remember, your rate times time is the money earned. That's how much you're getting per hour. For instance, if you work $10 per hour times 6 hours, well, you do the hours cancel out, you get 60 bucks. Okay? A plumber makes $600 on a job. His apprentice makes three dollars less per hour. Also makes six hundred. The apprentice worked ten more hours than the plumber. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this these guys both made six hundred. This guy makes uh, the plumber makes x. This guy makes three dollars less. X minus three. How do I find the time? Well, I know this plumber was. This guy was ten more than this. So that's my if this. That's how I'm going to get my equation. How am I going to get it? I'm going to put this of. This divided by this will be this, so I get 600 over x, 600 over 
x plus 3, if this times this is this, this divided by this is this, and I say this plus 10 equals this, and that's my equation.